Welcome to the Mole Confidential Season 3, Episode 1. All right, we are back in the wonderful world of Mole. This is our first confidential uh, episode. Let me just do a little pan back here so everybody can see the mansion. Ooh. So this is our lovely crew <laughs> mansion as built by our own Gizmo. I know he had possibly some helpers. <laughs> he can say anything he wants on that. Um, I think I did, but I can't quite remember. It was everyone helped. <clears throat> everyone helped. <clears throat> My cat also helped, if you can hear it. <laughs> Pretty much um, the helpers I had for, for season three was Giz, Danny, Piper, and Wolf. Uh, Wolf's not here, so but Giz, Danny, and Piper are. And you can see also that Dee and Ross have joined us, who aren't in this season, but are fans. And obviously crew members. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is kind of the process that we went through for Season 3 of The Mole. The first thing, basically, the really the key to it was the auditions. And that was where all you guys had to uh, sign up. Uh, we had hundreds of people apply, and uh, we had to kind of sift through that. And basically, Piper, uh, myself, and Giz went through all of the uh, auditions. So I don't know if, if uh, Piper, you have anything you want to add on that subject? Um, just to thank everybody for auditioning, um, there were quite a few interesting auditions, and it took us ages to get through them all. I think, oh, I can't gosh. remember how many we had. I think it was like over 100, wasn't it? Yeah, it was over, well, well over 100. Yeah, definitely over 100. Close to 200, wasn't it? Yeah. It took hours to like watch them all. Oh, but thank you guys <laughs> for sending them in, thank you. So we basically, the three of us went through, we watched all your videos or listened to your audio if you didn't do a video. Uh, and then we basically tried to pick quite a few people from that group to then contact to um, get you to come for actual interviews. But basically we interviewed people, and then from that we were able to determine how good a quality your microphone was, get, get a kind of an, an idea on why you wanted to be in the mole, your personality, and try to choose people we thought would, would work well for the mole. Then the next real thing was the building process, and that was creating the challenges and building them. And um, I think Danny was going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, the building process was kind of a trial and error. We would build and then we would test it, and if we didn't like it, we'd have to go back and redo it, or we'd make certain tweaks here and there, and other people chimed in with uh, suggestions on adding things or removing things. Yeah, we all, um, I think there was Buzz, Danny, Giz, um, myself and Wolf, we came up with loads of ideas for loads of challenges and then we kind of fitted them into what episodes they could go in, uh, what order they should go in um, and then we allocated builders to each one because there was a lot, a lot of building to do. Yeah, some things didn't work, so we would have to toss them. Otherwise, sometimes we would tweak the idea. Uh, sometimes, you know, a challenge we thought might be good for so many players at a certain time, we ended up saying, okay, we need to actually have less players or more players. So uh, the nice thing for me with this season was actually having people help me meant I had people who could help me test. In the previous seasons, I pretty much had to build and then kind of test it myself or uh, you know, and, and could never get a real good idea if it was going to work with multiple players. So uh, having three people help made that much easier. All right, next up, obviously, was uh, the fact that we have, we, we're hoping to have more, but we have one of the players here today who who is playing in the game, and that's Mario. So I don't know if Mario wants to give any uh, feedback on playing in this season, and no spoilers. <laughs> okay. Uh, any thoughts, uh, D and Ross? I know Ross, you have to type, but on you know the season starting back up for you guys, even though you're in crew, uh, you kind of uh, are watching this just like the rest of the fans. Uh, they do not know the winner or who the mole is. It's really quite fun to watch because like you could silently judge everyone and just right. Okay, they didn't do that well. I think they're the mole. And it's quite fun. <laughs> can you? Do you feel like you can take on the role of a player and like try to analyse everything everybody's doing and try to work out who the mole is yourself? Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> like, 
because uh, like since it was the first episode, there's just so many people that like is it, the more people there are, the harder it is to figure out who the mole is. So there's like there's always things that people do that you're like, oh, it could be them, but then they did this, so it could be them, and then like <laughs> every episode, someone's eliminated, so it just like narrows it down, and it's it's really quite exciting. <laughs> okay, and then I guess this is a good question um, to ask Danny, Giz, and Piper. And that's how did it feel for you guys watching this and seeing other people play when you guys have played previously? I missed was... playing in the mall. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to play, but on the other hand, it was really cool, like building things and being behind the scenes and like, yeah. being in the know. It was really like quite sneaky. It was stressful, liked to play. though. Absolutely stressful, having to get everything so it's right. Oh god, yeah, more stressful than actually, than actually being a player. I'm sure I've got grey hair because of it now. I've got strands of grey hair coming through, just because <laughs> of the mole. <laughs> I'll give you that skin I made. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't envy Belboz's job at editing it all and putting it all together. It's just, yeah, crazy. I'll let you do that, Buzz. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, season four, you're doing it, Piper. Nuh uh. Yeah. I quit the crew then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's move on now. Uh, just uh, some questions that we saw people have. And one of them was How did we get the players to sit down on those wooden steps? And that was simply a plug in for Bucket called Comfort. So if that's something you're interested in and you run a server, check out uh, on the Bucket the website, look for Comfort. All right, so our question, another question we had uh, was that someone had mentioned Timon never got called up to elimination, so he must be the mole. Well, uh, the answer to that one is it could be Timon, but it might not be Timon. We did pick the order, um, and it depends on what would be more suspenseful for people. We like to mix things up because if we did it in alphabetical order, it would be really boring. You'd know who's coming next. Um, there's a few twists and turns coming up as well with the elimination, so keep watching. Yeah, and just a, one little other tidbit on that. If we called every player up, then I would always have to have the eliminated player go last, which means that once I called the second to last player, then it would be obvious the person was eliminated before I ever called them up, which wouldn't be very good for the suspense of the show. All right, um, the next question or comment we got was people complained that there was a lack of female players. Well, obviously, we wanted more female players to play. We actually had one other female player slated to start in this season. And right before the season began filming, I mean, literally, like a day before, um, she had to drop out for uh, issues that were beyond her control. So, sadly, we lost one female. Now, we did have... Uh, Obviously, a higher percentage of males apply than females, but we had quite a few females that we sent out emails offering them a chance to come for interviews. And kind of like the men, say we sent out you know, 30 um, emails to men and uh, 10 emails to you know, 10 different women, probably not even a 25%, probably less than that, ever responded back to us. So when you have a smaller number of women and some don't respond, you're obviously going to have a smaller number of women in the game. So we would have liked to have more, and sadly, I'd say at least a half a dozen women never even responded to our emails for interviews. Yeah. And even when we gave out interviews, people didn't show for their interviews as well. So, yeah, that was a bit disappointing. Um, there was also the bit about the non-US UK, everybody was saying there's just people from America and the UK. We tried to mix it up. I mean, we wanted to have people from different uh, nationalities because we think it adds a little bit to it. I mean, you know, our fan base is um, all over the place. Now, predominantly, our fans are from the US and the UK. Those are the big two areas. So obviously, they're going to have a higher percentage. Uh, but we tried to mix it up. Uh, don't forget, though, Canada is not... Um, it's North America but it's not the U.S. And honestly, uh, I, I, Timon listed himself as from the U.S. because he lives there currently, but he actually is Canadian. 
So, I mean, we do have a, a mix of players from all over. Um, there was probably less people from the U.S. than we'd like. But, again, honestly, uh, a lot of the number cha- or the numbers you see and the di- differences in nationalities, uh, we sent out a lot of emails to people who just never responded. And as Piper said, people stopped or, or people didn't even show up for their interviews. So um, we could only work with what we had, and we chose the best people. And the countries they came from are the countries they came from. I mean, we, we really looked mainly at the people versus where they were from. All right, and then the last question that we had uh, was people wanted to know who built the plane. It was Wolf that built the plane. So while we're talking about the plane, let's all go in the GM. And let's fly to where the plane crashed. So here's a little uh, thing that the players, some of them didn't even see until the season was over, and we showed them. This is the challenge. The bedrock you saw actually covered up this plane, which was the wreckage of the plane. The plane was up in the sky up there, but after the challenge was over, Wolf removed it so that all that remains is the crashed, you know, fuselage. It does look a bit like Lost, doesn't it? Jack! <laughs> Lock! <laughs> so uh, this was a, a really good start. I mean, honestly, uh, at first we weren't sure how we were going to start it, but I kind of liked the idea of having the plane, you know, be the challenge. But it started off where the players thought they were actually getting on this, just for some kind of little symbolic intro video to get us to the season. Um, they didn't know that there was going to be an explosion. If you watch the video back, you'll see that there was no signs on the exits and there was no sign in front of me. Once the TNT goes off and the mole sabotages the plane, my helpers were invisible. They started putting all the signs up that you saw. And that's when I told them, however, players, the mole has other plans. You know, welcome to your first challenge. Uh, we wanted to kind of spring it on them. I love the um, outside bit at the end with all the iron bars coming out and the fire. It just it just looks really effective. I think Wolf did a really good job with the plane. Yeah. So here we are at challenge number two. I'm on a boat. <laughs> you guys may have, if you've watched the video saw the like the picture of this that I think Piper took that I put play at the end of the episode. But if some people did catch that there was a sign from the mole and it was a quiz question. And there it is. What does it say, Bubbles? <laughs> it says hope you sink, love the mole. <laughs> now um a little tidbit about this challenge. This started off, um, I don't know if this was, Danny built this. And honestly, yeah. this is one of my, f- yeah. my favorite builds for the season. Um, but it went through, I don't know, maybe maybe at least two, maybe more revisions. Because I think yeah. when Danny first started, he had a different idea than what I kind of originally had when I thought about the idea for this. And I, I felt bad because Danny had to kind of do rework. But once Danny finished with what he had here, I really, I mean, really enjoyed what we came out with. And I don't know, Danny, if you want to talk about kind of how it started off for you and then kind of with me then saying, hey, Danny, I kind of want it. Well, um, this, it wasn't like this. It was a bit, basically, I started off with a tower that was like a lot of rooms with a kind of like parkour-ish and then... I changed it to um, like a big water slide that was in the sky and yeah, that worked and then I just went with what I had around me and tried to build it naturally and I think it came out, came out good. Yeah, really good. And if you, we had fun testing it as well. <laughs> and if you notice the, um, the rail cart tracks, Danny had actually gone as far as creating minecart tracks that would take people to their starting points. Uh, we didn't actually use that. Uh, we just teleported them, all, all the people helping me. But, um, I mean, Danny really, I mean, it started off, this was not looking with what well, he said his earlier revisions for what I kind of had first thought of. 
But once he had this, and it looks so natural in this environment, uh, I was really pleased with uh, with it. I mean, Danny did a, a really good job on this challenge. My favorite part's the redstone. Out of everything, it's the redstone. <laughs> All right, so here you guys see this is a sneak peek at a challenge coming up in our next episode. What could it be? Mm. All right, so here you can see the uh, room of uh, Nikon, who was our first eliminated player, and we have a little message here from the mole. This is the last picture you will ever see Nikon take. Enjoy it. Love the mole. <laughs> the joke there is, of course, Nikon the ca is a camera. So, very witty, the mole. Alright, and uh, there is no survey results because we always give your voting basically the week after. So, our next episode of Confidential will say who you currently think is the mole in episode one. So you guys are still voting right now, so we can't give results yet. All right, and our last segment, and a favorite of many. Take it away, Giz. The Mole Comment of the Week, Season 3. All right, our comment of the week uh, this week comes from the Nadette W, or the Nadette, Nadette 2, maybe. And it is... Oh my gosh, Season 3. Who is the mole? Who? 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 <laughs> and there you have it, guys. That is episode one of Mole Yay. Confidential for season three. So if you guys want to say your goodbyes, we will head out. Bye. Bye. Bye.